Well, a tailings pond is part of the mining process. Uh, when you heat up the bitumen, you produce a uh, slurry that's contained that contains water, a little bit of bitumen, and a lot of sand because bitumen is contained in sand, and it's put into a, uh, a tailings pond, which is really a, a, a dam-like structure. What we have um, around the tailings ponds is a groundwater monitoring system and then a capture system so that if anything leaks, it actually gets caught in this capture system and is re-injected back into the tailings ponds itself. You want an immediate detection. Just like any city landfill, you'll put your monitoring system right next to that landfill or right next to the pond and you'll want to detect that leachate right away so that you can remediate it quickly. What does end up happening over time is that as the, as the tailings consolidate, they become an almost impermeable layer of very fine clay. So the seepage rates decline over time. We have um, our first tailing ponds that will be reclaimed by 2010. It won't be fully treated or anything like that, but there will be topsoil and a layer of uh, vegetation that will be placed on top of it. We do um, extensive water quality monitoring of the um, Athabasca River. We take thousands and thousands of water samples. We've been monitoring uh, since the uh, early 1960s, and so far we've not been able to find any uh, impact from the tailings ponds itself.